I wonder how many people know who this is. If it's a severe looking woman, then she is one of my heroes. Her name is Agnes Martin, and she was a painter. And initially she started her career in New York, and she was right there along with the abstract expressionists, the minimalists, but she left. She didn't like it. She went out west. She went out into New Mexico, lived very simply and very much by herself, and uh, was a huge inspiration as life went on. For seven years after she left New York, she didn't do a painting or a drawing. And she did have some powerful friends in the art world. Arthur Glimpshire was the man who went out west and got her to make a print from the print, another print, and then back into painting. Now her paintings sell for, I don't know, half a million a piece nowadays. And if you are into the raucous of life, if you're into the extravagant, external, extroverted nature of the world we live in in America, you would pass by them. This is not a culture for introverts. They are the ones left behind. But Agnes Martin was a little bit of both because her paintings do speak, but they're something you have to sit with and look at. And they've meant a lot to me because they are quiet and they're not unlike the Arctic. The Arctic too is very quiet, very present, very there. But if you're into the raucousness of your life, you probably won't go there. I met her one night in uh, Santa Fe, uh, her younger friend David McIntosh introduced us and we spent a few hours together, but I was so overwhelmed I could barely talk and she barely talked because she never liked to and we had, it wouldn't say awkward, but it was a time when I was able to be in her presence and that meant a lot to me as it means a lot to me to be in the presence of the river.